In this video, video 19, we'll explain the need for transport systems in multicellular plants in terms of size and surface area to volume ratio. Quite a familiar topic by now. Now, all living things produce waste and all living things take substance uh, or sub sustenance or substances from the environment. So they take nutrients and probably the majority of organisms take oxygen for aerobic respiration. Now, thinking about the way plants operate, um, they don't move very fast to, um, you know, go nearer to um, water or nutrients and so on. But they have a network of roots. And these roots um, are underneath the soil. And the roots are specialised to absorb water. And this water can, can go through the root hair cells and through the roots by simple diffusion. But some plants are huge. Think about trees, for example. Trees are massive. Um, and this network of roots could be replenished by water. But of course, if there's a huge trunk and branches, uh, this is obviously not a very good tree. Um, and then, of course, you've got leaves as well, which, which require water. Um, you start to realise that the size of the plant means that it's very difficult for simple diffusion to supply the entire plant with things like water um, and, of, and of course converse, conversely if oxygen is um, required in a plant for respiration which it is this is absorbed by the leaves and of course if the leaves absorb oxygen they'll survive but how do the roots get the oxygen they're underground so the size of a plant tells you that some sort of transport system whereby gas exchange or exchange gases can move through the plant and absorb water can move through the plant and so on um, needs to be in place so that transport system can help supply the entire plant with the nutrients and the sus substances that it needs for metabolic processes such as respiration and photosynthesis and of course we've got the idea of surface area to volume ratio a plant like a tree for example is huge most of the volume is inside the bark only a small amount of surface is actually exposed. So it's quite clear that the small amounts of exchange surfaces that are present in the roots and the leaves need to be um, able to supply their um, substances to the entire plant cells. So cells in the middle of the bark that aren't exposed to the leaves or the roots need to gain as much oxygen for respiration as the rest of the plant. They will also need as much water as the rest of the plant and therefore a transport system needs to carry those materials to the plant cells. Now of course being a question about surface area to volume ratio they would expect you to work out and calculate the surface area to volume ratio if you're given those fi uh, figures in a question. Um, and also you, you should be able to quantitatively as well as qualitatively describe what surface area to volume ratio is and why it affects um, things like gas exchange and nutrient uptake in things like animals and plants. So the same skills we used earlier in the first part of the uh, chapter we're continuing to use now. So how does the plant exchange um, substances and move substances? Well first of all they have um, specialised tissue and that tissue is called vascular tissue so I'll write that down for you. So it's called vascular tissue. So vascular um, is kind of a word that means vessels. A bit like cardiovascular means the, the um, heart and the surrounding blood vessels. In this case though, the plant doesn't contain blood, but it does contain vessels that carry other substances. So the first one is xylem. And the next one is phloem. Now, one way of remembering which one carries which is X for xylem is closest to W for water. So because it's the nearest letter, so P is quite a far away away from, from W, whereas X is very near W, xylem is responsible for carrying water, but it also carries soluble minerals. So it carries water. Um, and soluble 
minerals. Now, generally, we describe minerals as metal ions, so things like um, iron and zinc and so on, and magnesium. So it carries those minerals which are found in the soil, and these are able to move up the plant alongside the water. Now, if the xylem carries water and soluble minerals, and the phloem carries sugars. Um, and the sugars carried, well the sugar carried is mainly sucrose. So sucrose. And of course you should know, there are a large variety of different types of sugar. Glucose, fructose, sucrose, um, maltose, lactose, galactose and so on. But of course the um, plants tend to mainly carry sucrose in their phloem. So you should be able to explain by now... Um, the fact that plants need transport systems, and you should be able to explain why with the ideas of both size and surface area to volume ratio. You should talk about the idea that the places which um, cause um, uptake of things like oxygen and things like minerals and things like water are very far away from the other cells of the plant, such as those in the, um, the bark or those in the um, centre of the plant and the stem, and therefore this great distance needs to be bridged by a transport system. You should also know and be able to state that xylem is responsible for carrying water and soluble minerals and phloem is responsible for carrying sugars, mainly sucrose. And we'll go into more detail about those in the next video.